Hey, I'm Josh. I'm Lane. And, and we're Rhythmic, Rhythmic Recipes. Recipes. What's up, guys? This week on Rhythmic Recipes, we're doing Italian week. And what I chose to do, which is my favorite dish, is Alfredo pasta, which is basically a cream-based sauce. And the way that people put their own spin on it is how to add that flavor to it besides just cream and Parmesan cheese. So what I have here is a cooking wine, a little garlic, a couple of seasonings. It's going to be mwah, amazing. <laughs> which is fat and flour. It's a, it basically creates like almost like a, a putty in a way that keeps sauces and makes them really thick. That's how mac and cheese gets super thick and super creamy. And that's what you have to do to uh, make sure your Alfredo is super rich. All right, now that our roux is made, we added our cream and our wine, and we're gonna reduce it. So reducing it basically is you add heat and you bring it to a boil until it thickens up into that, that classic like Alfredo-y, very thickened sauce. Yo, Josh, it's time. What's it time for? Rhythmic recipes. We gotta get going. <laughs> this is the Italian episode. While Lane's off cooking away in the kitchen, I need to get to work and gain some musical influences. So I think we've got a pretty good idea of what to throw together. It's time to head to the studio. Follow me. It's in the other room. The chord structure relies heavily on a staccato motion. And it's kind of like a circular motion in a sense. So the first thing we're going to record is uh, the chord structure because the chord structure is basically what's going to make up the entire integrity of the piece. So, go ahead. Yo, give me a sound check. So now we're going to add an extra layer. We're going to go ahead and work in the key of D. <laughs> and one main thing about this style is that there's a lot of tremolo picking. Basically, what tremolo picking is, is uh, picking at an accelerated rate, whether it's in a triplet format, 16th note, 32nd, etc. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with uh, that concept and see what we can come up with. So we listened back to that last take and we realized that the chords need to be a little bit tighter. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and re-record that and uh, see how that sounds. Now let's go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and get the accordion parts. Sounds, music sounds. <laughs> Alright Lane, let's go see what you did. Yeah. <laughs>